As photographs are seen in national publications like Condé Nast Traveler and New York Times, of course, and they are usually of architecture. But his latest exhibit is one of portraits of a perhaps unlikely community in Maine. CBS 13's Kim Block joins us with tonight's Making a Difference report. Greg and Adrian, commercial photographer Dred Bell was touched and saddened when a good friend made some bad choices that landed him in prison. It got him thinking about how the decisions we make can lead us down very different paths, and that led to a photography exhibit at Engine Gallery in Biddeford, Maine. You read each one of these guys' letters, and it's just like they're desperately reaching for their younger self. And that is exactly the challenge photographer Trent Bell issued to these 12 inmates from the main state prison. Bell, a commercial photographer nationally known for his architectural photos, was looking for a more personal project, one that would feed his soul. Convicts' letters to their younger selves, opening later this week at Engine in Biddeford, is the result. When you actually sit down and just take a minute and look in these guys' eyes and read what they've written to themselves. It's, you, you really have to hold back the emotions and, and just tears. Bell asked the inmates to literally write letters to their younger selves, expressing vulnerability and often regret. He took each photograph, and the combination is a powerful one. And the, the day we went and shot this at the prison, uh, they brought out the letters that they had each written on a single sheet of paper. And all of us uh, that did the, the video and, and my assistant, we, you know, the letters came out and we all came over and were like, oh, we got to, you know. And none of us could even finish the first line of the first letter. We, each one of us just walked away. We couldn't, it was that much emotion. It's like you're in a box. The project has also been documented in a video, and the exhibit will include photographs of prison guards. Bell and the gallery owner hope it will spark a conversation and perhaps open up some minds, as art often does. People will develop the feelings that they develop naturally, and um, that's good, I think. And I'm expecting there to be both negative and positive reactions to it. And I think any, any good art or any good concept really elicits that kind of response. Yeah. Bell says the inmates themselves had those reactions, too. But taking a moment to reflect on the decisions that led them behind bars may be the closest they get to freedom for a long time. She said that after they, they all were better off for it, which for me was the best thing I've ever done with my talents that I've been given for photography. Now, Bell says he is not trying to sway people's opinions with this exhibit, but hope it does open some eyes about the lessons often learned the hard way. And Kim, you had a chance to look at some of these letters. What, what are some of the stories you saw in the letters? Well, they're all pretty powerful, Greg mm -hmm. and Adrian. In fact, some are from fathers who regret missing out on their children's childhood. And there was one son who wishes he could be there right now to help his dad shovel snow and take care of him in his older years. And one prisoner wrote this to his younger self. Get to work, get clean, and avoid the madness because you're good enough to live your dreams and not just have them in your sleep. And that exhibit opens on Friday. It continues through February 22nd. Goosebumps, chills. right? I know. Yeah. If only they could have delivered that message in time to their younger selves, obviously. And they're hoping they're that not. kids come through this exhibit and maybe it will touch somebody yeah. and somebody around. will make a different choice. Yep. Kim, thank mm -hmm. you.